I want to bring in Bull Tick Capital Markets Chief Strategist Catherine Rooney Vera. All right, Catherine, so Powell and Company, they really seem willing to let inflation maybe even hit 3%. Now, one of the things Jay Powell's talked about is he wants to get black and Hispanic unemployment to record lows. In the past, overall unemployment has gotten to a level, uh, and then the Fed has changed course. He's saying within those numbers, the other, the other components of the demographics are still too high. He's got other reasons, he seems, that he would love to keep rates low forever, and people are worried just how dangerous could it be. Well, the Fed is currently monetizing the federal government's indebtedness, which is astronomical in nature. We're at $27 trillion in debt at the moment. The fiscal deficit for fiscal year 2020 was nearly 18% of GDP. That's more than double that which we saw as a response to the Lehman Brothers crisis back in 2008 and 2010, the massive financial crisis. And we're seeing really a monetization of this. So while inflation rates are very low, the party can continue, which means the Fed can continue to buy government debt. And the government can continue to indebt itself out the wazoo with no repercussions whatsoever. Once we do get this combination that stems, Charles, from demand pull inflation, which means that once the vaccine really takes effect, this or another, and we do get that explosion in normalization trade and consumer discretionary, you have demand pull inflation, you have monetary stimulus, you have fiscal stimulus with trillions and trillions of dollars, Charles, in the system, this combination is inflationary. I'm not saying it's in the next six months, it could be right. in the next 18 months. Right. But when we get inflation, Charles, that sends interest rates higher. And when we're talking about $27 trillion right. in debt, that means that the U.S. government has to pay more on its interest um, than it had right. previously. So that's thing, a though, whole ball of Here's the thing. We've seen the money supply spike to $6.5 trillion, but the velocity of money has gone down to record lows. So that might take a while to work itself out, if ever. I'm not sure why that trend is happening. But you mentioned the, the financial crisis, Catherine. A lot of people are saying when Joe Biden gets in, he'll get his own person at the head of the Fed. You got Janet Yellen at Treasury that they're going to say, if we were able to raise all of this money and save banks, we should be able to do things like pay off student loans, uh, make it easier for a universal basic income and those kind of things. What would you say to that? <laughs> Well, you, you can't have government spending growing at a velocity that far exceeds economic growth for the indefinite future, Charles. And I'll, and I'll add M2, which is but the monetary base. for a current. long time. Yeah, well, until inflation happens, M2 is growing at a pace of 25% year over year. That's the highest since World War II. If you think, as do I, and the audience may, may have their own view, but if you think, as do I, that the stimulus measures and the spending that we have entrenched into the system as a result of COVID is going to be retraced, as in World War II, after World War II was retraced, then things are going to be okay. I think under the Biden administration and Democrat run everything, that it's just going to turn into massive social spending. So we have um, an explosion, I think, in the offing. Yeah. And what you talked about is velocity of money. The velocity of money is the rate at which consumers and businesses in the economy collectively spend money. So the velocity of money is low, but M2 is high. That tells you that it's not working, right? That right. tells you that Wall Street's making the big bucks. Right. The multi corporation, multi commerce corporations are making the big bucks. While the average Joe is out of work and, and begging for additional unemployment benefits, it's really a system that I think is going to culminate into a very very uh, nasty explosion in terms of inflation, higher rates, and a crowding right. out of the public, of the private sector. So it's so interesting. Then, so what you're saying is that the prescribed medicine that we're hearing from the left might make things work worse. Catherine, thank you very <laughs> much. Always so. appreciate it's just adding that. Adding uh, wood to the fire.